My thumbnails suck. My animations suck. I need to get better now. I've got a solution for you. This. Oh. But Puka, what does it Glad do? you asked. It takes any image and turns it into 3D. Do you mean like AI? Disowned. No, you dweeb. It can take your Minecraft items and make them better based on nothing but the picture. Well, how can I do Glad it? you asked, because I can show you how to make it. Or if you want, you can poultry out now. There's a free download in the description. Burn the algorithm. Let's begin. Start with a new file in Blender 4.0. You better have brought your A game, because we're going to be using a whole shift load of it. That's right, Shift A. You're gonna be bringing in all of them shifts. Start with a 3D viewport and kill that cube. Why? Cause you're a hopeless murderer now. Hit Shift A. What do you wanna bring in? Doesn't matter, cause it's gonna be born to die. Go to the shading tab and hit new. Next, get your A game on again and hit Shift A to bring in an attribute node. Hook that color up to the principal shader. Give that attribute a name. What should you name it? doesn't matter. It's independent now and lives on its own away from its parents, but it still has to fill out the tax forms. So name it something it can remember. What's this? The shading is done? You're a pro, kid. Glad you didn't take the easy road out and just download it. Um, how do you make this work again? Now we go to the Geometry Node tab and create a new Geometry Node. This is where your A-game is really gonna shine. Add in a grid and say goodbye to that mesh. You just killed two things today, kid. RIP! For Minecraft items, set that grid to 1 meter each and 17 vertices each. Why? Cause Minecraft items are 16 pixels and you need one more line than the number of pixels you need. Add a store named attribute node and give it that name you were supposed to remember for the tax forms. You do remember it, don't you? You don't want to go to tax prison, do you? Good! Now add a set material node and give it that material we made. It's looking a little black, like your soul. Let's give it some color. Bring in an image texture node. Give it a PNG item file from that blocky game you left your wife and kids for. Set your store named attribute to color and plug that image in. Hey, we got something. Looks a little fuzzy, like your fursuit. Let's sharpen it up. Turn that item to closest and set that store named attribute to face. Emphasis on the face. Cause face is funny. Hey, now we can see whatever the hell you needed to make so badly for your animations. But it's not centered right. Well, we gotta move that MF. Add in a position node and a vector math node, then plug the position node into the math node and then the math node into the picture node. And just like tag teaming bullies, these two nodes are taking on a nerd that doesn't respect them. So the position node is saying, hey you, and the vector math node is saying, move. Set that MF to 0.5. Holy bipedal cow, you got that thing lined up right, but it's still shifting flat and it's still in the shape of Minecraft Roadkill. Let's give that thingy a shit. Get a delete geometry node and add that thing in. Good job, now you've killed three shapes today. You're a serial mesh murderer now. But let's add necromancy to that growing list of unspeakable evils and resurrect your grandmother's low poly corpse. Set the delete geometry to face and plug in the alpha into the selection. But just like any sacrilegious undead, it's a shadow of its former self. Let's give it a true resurrection and add in a boolean math node and set it to not, but it's still flat. Keep up that A game and shift out an extrusion node. Plop that in and oh my god, that bore thick. Make sure that node is on faces and individual is on. Hey, do you remember how we got here? Well, let's take a trip down memory lane and go look at our good old friend, Group Input. Do you remember him? You killed him. But let's take a step next to his corpse and add in a simple math node and set him to add. Then you need to switch gears and get your D game on and hit Shift D to duplicate that MF and set that one to multiply. So right underneath of your dead friend here is an empty husk of a node slot. 
grab that and drag it to the add node. Another empty husk of a node pops up, so grab that and plug it into the multiply node. But these numbers be looking boring. They suck. Let's spice it up with some color. Grab the color from the image and plug it into the multiply node. Then spread the love and plug that multiply node into the add node. Then pay that love forward and plug that add node into the factor of the extrusion node. To get a handle on that cathedral of pixels, we gotta know what we are driving. Get your precursor to disaster over to the little arrow here in the geometry nodes area, or your rare endgame on. The value that is plugged into your add node, give it a proper name, like normal thickness. And the other one plugged into the multiply node, you can call that one color thickness. These sliders are gonna move quick, so you better get your shift together and hold down shift while dragging on the numbers to move it slower. So that's it. You're done? Sure. If you're a null unit, the other side is looking like a waffle. Let's cover that MF with something. Time to give it the D and shift D that multiply node and extrude node. Plug the set material node into the extrude mesh node. Add a join geometry node into the mix and make sure both extrude mesh nodes are in there. But where did my other mesh go? That's what the multiply node is for you, Taffer! Set one of the values to negative one and plug that add node into the other value. This will flip the values and make things go in the other direction. Set that thing into the offset scale and BAM! If you're one of those picky people that likes your normals to be normal, make sure to add a flip faces on the second extrusion before I flip your face. Because faces are funny. Now you're done. Just replace the image to change the item. Plug the image into one of those empty corpse slots so you can use the same node setup for multiple items. If you have a different sized picture, just adjust the grid size to whatever you need it to be. Remember, the number of vertices needs to be one more than the number of pixels, but that's if you want to be a picky perfectionist. Congratulations on making it through this tutorial, although it was pretty easy for you, because it was the best tutorial ever made. If you like this tutorial and want to see more, just forget it and shove your comment down somebody else's text hole. Because I'm never making another one like this again. You can't improve on perfection, and my god am I perfect. Wow, this tutorial really did help me out. Check out my thumbnail. That's terrible. I guess there's no helping you. But I thought this was the best tutorial ever. Well, don't get sad now. I had to make a whole other asset for that emotion. I'm sorry. Stop having emotions. I picked one and it was anger. Why hasn't the video stopped yet? Because I'm trying to fill out the last eight minutes.